exclusive. I, I grew up like a savage. Damn. What was the reception like at home? Or did the record take off so crazy, y'all? It hadn't even got. Well, it took off huge there, but believe it or not, the Wish Like was bigger in LA than it was in the Bay Area. Damn. So we out here, it's, it's marginal. Our first show in LA, it's crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Killed it. So, so now that y'all going into make album mode and making an album, like who's who's the. Um, Who's the creative, or is it a collective, or is it anybody like coming up with the concepts or what y'all gonna do, or was that shock thing? Oh, the first album. Yeah. It was mainly shock. It was, it was his, his vision. He had it all in his head. He already. had it all in his head, but of course, so like I said, I was the the rapper. Right. Mm -hmm. And how hard was it for you to write for his style? I didn't write his style. I was, no, I was just yourself, him. but to write your stuff for his style of music, like. It wasn't, because it really, like, okay, so I'll give you an example. Uh, Freaks and Inch, right? Okay. Of course we're going to talk about this, right? But he said, he said, man, man, here's the climate. You already had too short. Bitch, 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 bitch. Yeah. You had two live crew. Oh, you know, we just want to fuck, you know, check that ass, whatever. He's like, man. Nobody's ever made a song about actually caring about how the woman feels. Please her. No, everybody is about, I got mine, and get the fuck up. Right. Mm -hmm. Kick a bitch out. But nobody's ever said, we want to freak you and please you. You know, we don't need it. We just eat it. Yeah. Nobody yeah. never said that yet. So what year was this? This is 89, we write it. Damn. So nobody. Y'all said it before. Pooh man? Yeah, of course. Goodness. So we never eating we pussy never, was taboo. We was all was. Jamaican it, back it was then. taboo. Yeah. So we we were the first one, and then not just eating pussy, but just the saying it's okay to say that we want to do it for you, not bitch, give it to me. Right. Oh. You understand okay, what I'm saying? Okay. 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 So okay. that was his idea. Right. To do it. So you know we're sitting at the crib, and I'm helping him to formulate ideas to write the rhyme. So if you go back and listen to the song, Shock's verse is like 32 bars and my verse is 12. Because we wrote the song, it was supposed to be Shock G. But I'm helping him with the ideas and writing it together and coming uh. up, formulating it. Mm. Then at the studio, I'm just there at the studio <coughs> and I'm drinking a 40 in the, like, the little reception area. He's like, Mike, you want to be honest? I'm like, hell yeah, yeah. He's like, write something real quick. So that's what I did. I wrote something real quick. And that's why my verse is much shorter on Freak Sandwich. But I was a part of the process of writing the whole thing, exactly. the idea. I didn't write his rhymes, right. but we formulated it together. Exactly. It's a so it wasn't like, we, to answer your question, it wasn't like he was like, how do I fit into what he, he was just like, you know what would be dope if we did something like that. Okay. And I'm like, all right, cool. And then we just start working on it. Right. And that would, that would be it. Damn, that's crazy. Is, is that how y'all work together a lot, though, in that in that capacity, like sit down and roll together? Or did you come up with songs on your own and come back to the table with them? I would, or more than likely, it'd be like, man, we doing one about this. Write a verse. That's just how it went. Yeah. Hmm. For that first album. Oh, okay. I'm just saying. Yeah. Did you yeah. Did you have a beat when you would write that? Did you have a beat, though? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, because back then people wouldn't write raps without listening to the beat. Yeah, I mean we could we could say we want to we want to do something like it, whatever, but for the most part he come up because like I said his main thing was production. So, yeah, he was about the music. Yeah, yeah, more than anything. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so by the second album, no. So on the first album, what did the first album do? Did it go go? That first album was right. double platinum? Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me, man. Yeah. Excuse bad. me. No disrespect. Man, no, all disrespect, nigga. Yeah. Double platinum versus gold. It's like, what? Yeah. Hold on. So, so how did that feel, though? Was y'all <laughs> was, was immediately nominated for awards and shit? We were Grammy, Grammy nominated. Grammy yeah. nominated. And motherfucking Will Smith won the Grammy. And Will Smith won. Is that won. right? Y'all was getting a lot of perks. 
Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you know, uh, I don't even know if it was that. It was some other shit. Nah, it might not have been summertime yet. Yeah, it wasn't summertime in 1990. Nah, it might. Maybe have been. I don't know. Nightmare on my street Look or some up. shit. <laughs> Look it up, Corn. Yeah, I'm mad. Will Smith Grammy. Uh, Will Smith Grammy. Yeah. I ain't gonna never right. let it go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So how far along after that? Did, pop, did my moving? Along yeah, you going fast? It's a lot of digital in. underground shit. Say what? No, Pop was around all that shit. Yeah. Because remember, I said Atron, he, he had he was signed to a group called Strictly Dope. So even when we shot, uh, oh y'all knew him at that time yeah, during we, them. Pop was at the Humpty Dance video. He wasn't in it, but he was there. Oh, I mean, he might even be in it if you catch a glimpse. I'm just saying he was signed. They were just another group. Yeah. He was a part of it. The whole time. So Pac, so he Pac, was there. He was he was around during the do what you like. Yeah. So Pac, Pac, strictly dope. They got signed. They came. They were a part of our collective from '88. From '88. So strictly dope was around NWA and shit too. No. They didn't. They didn't never see they, them. I don't know if they ever seen them. I'm just I mean, when y'all was they on were, H- they weren't in our group. So I'm just saying, like. Say for instance, Atrium's our manager, right? NWA's coming to town. What's up? Shock Mun, blah, blah, blah. They come in, you wanna go? I'm like, hell yeah, I wanna go. Sometimes Shock would come, sometimes he wouldn't. You know, oh, Shock okay. wasn't a hip hop nigga like that. Yeah, yeah. I was. Right. Jimmy definitely wasn't. Yeah. Fuse was. Yeah. So Y'all in a lot like, of pictures. It wasn't like it wasn't like, you know, y'all we didn't meet at a place and then go right it's just if you want to go you can go right so Pac was definitely strictly dope was around mm. but they were their own entity we were our own entity you know me and shop me and Pac were same age like so we kick it yeah more so and you know and i'm you know he was attracted to to what he knew which was like hood situations yeah and i lived right in the hood and I had the turntables and the four track. Yeah. And the records. Yeah. He wanted to be around that. Right, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And we were the same age and we both like breezies. Right. So you you brought him out through all these up the streets. From exactly. Take him get his weed. East to the I West. To the... Weed, but he needed his weed. Yeah, you, know? you take so him I would get take his weed. To do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And introduce him to it. So so and then y'all had the Black Panther thing in common mm-hmm. too, coming up out of that. So I'm sure that that with y'all bond was really really tight because right. of it. You know what kind of teachings he come from up under too. Right. Um, so how was that taking Pac around? Like how was that relationship? And when he came around, like how did you get introduced to him personally? Well, introduced because he, you know, he had to audition. That group had to audition for us. No, you just made an announcement to do yeah, it. Yeah, 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 that was me. Yeah. That was me. Yeah, yeah. That's the practice what you preach yeah. tonight. Yeah. I did. Damn, yeah. man, you said it. I did say it. What am I doing? All right, I did it now. Uh, what happened? What was he talking about? Pop? Uh, was talking about pop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Say it one more time. Uh, you said they had to audition. Yeah, Strictly Dope had to audition for the group. Okay. And... You know, so we, strictly all this, I mean strictly dope. strictly dope. Strictly dope. The name was there before the group was formed? No, it was it was Ray Love, Tupac, and Dizzy. Mm-hmm. That was strictly, strictly dope. dope. That mm-hmm. was the name of the group. But I'm saying you saying they had to audition for the label? They were called Strictly Dope that came to audition. Oh, okay, okay, in front okay. Of okay. Underground okay. Before Atrium would sign them. Okay. The same way when we made our demo. Atrium played our tape for NWA and said, what do you think about these guys? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, we're his ears mm-hmm. to these new guys. Right. What uh, do you think about these guys? Atrium was a slick motherfucker. He That's had A&Rs. That's how it worked. And, uh, yeah, right and, yeah. Damn, that was dope, though. That's how it worked. Yeah, so um, when they came and y'all saw him perform, did they immediately stick out? I thought they were dope. I thought, but I also thought that Tupac and Ray Love were equally talented mm. as far as rapping. Yeah. But Tupac had just had a little more charisma. Like when the music stopped, he still had the, the you know, he, he 
What, like his conversation? He always has his... energy in the room. Yeah. Uh, All eyes on him. Yeah. For real. Literally. Is that right? Literally. Yeah. Like, he, he definitely... He spoke knowledgeable had the, and... What, you feel. know, just, he always had the, the attention of the room. I don't know if you know. You, you know some people wherever you go, you know, that's the guy that's going to be entertaining. Right, uh -huh. right. You feel me? The guy that's clowning. Just, However he does it. Uh-huh. But whenever you, you were, tell him he's that guy, though. If it was all of us, Pac would have the floor. Yeah. By the end of the night, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, right. Just, that was his personality, so we saw that right away. But they were still a group, mm. so it was like, yo. Know I mean? So, 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 but did you have the same relationship with Tupac and Ray Love? Or was it always different? Like, I mean, you and Pac just stuck together. Me and Pac just clicked from yeah. what I just said. He yeah. was just interested in being around it. Yeah. He, now, is he living he liked in this Oakland lifestyle? Is he living he in the this. jungle at this time? Yeah. So, so, so you made him an Oakland nigga. Money B made Tupac an Oakland nigga. Pretty much. Mm, pretty Oakland much. And it was kind of like, it was levels to the game, right? Yeah. So, you know, Pac was, and I always say, Pac was always attracted to that. Because he comes from it. Yeah. So he's always attracted to that power, hood life, whatever. Yeah. So I'm, I'm bringing him now. I'm, I'm taking him through the, through the streets and giving yeah. him what he wanted. And yeah. Introducing him to the guys and we're going to the spots. Yeah. You know, then a little bit later, I forget how it, you know, whether I made an introduction of how it is, then, you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm from here, I move around in the streets, but I'm not, I'm not that guy that's, that's doing it. Okay. You feel me? Right. You know, I know the niggas that's doing it. I yeah. know the niggas that's doing it. Yeah. And I can get it done, but but I'm not doing it. Right. Right. Then he meets Richie Rich and the Gov, and they yeah. doing it. Yeah, he doing right. it. Yeah. So that seemed a little more attractive. Yeah, that's the first yeah, time I seen him exactly. at the house on Congress. Yeah. Now he, now he in with 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 those guys. With the real guys. With that's the guys. Real, that's guys that's really fucking with. Yeah. And I'm not I'm not mad at him, but I'm like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guy. like he was attracted to that shit. Yeah, yeah, so you, yeah. you can have it if you want it. But you know, cause you from here, you've been yeah. surviving the whole time yeah. with playing it the way you play it. Yeah. So you gotta go how you going. Yeah, yeah. so right. I'm, I'm not. And I'm not trying to be that. Yeah, I'm not trying I'm, to move like I mean, that. Or exactly. On top of the fact, you double platinum. <laughs> yeah, we were right at the time. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Well, you just met him, but you was on your way. Yeah. So you had laser focus, I'm sure. Yeah. 